Hi there and welcome to another Typerific Tuesday. So today I'm going to be talking about the cube exercise. I'm not really sure too much the history behind this other than it's a fun little exercise that I used to do with my friends when I was like 15 and somebody reminded me of it the other day and I was like, you know what? I forgot about this. This is a really fun little exercise, like a psychological um, thing. I, I don't think it's like super serious, but I think it's super fun. So let's uh, let's begin. Basically, you're just going to follow some instructions that I tell you. And in the beginning, you're going to have to have your eyes shut and picturing things for me. So just trust me and follow my lead on this one. Okay, now everybody, I want you to shut your eyes. Now picture a desert. Now in this desert, picture a cube. Take note of the size of the cube in the desert, what color it is, if it's see-through, and any other aspects of the cube that you might that might stand out to you. Now that you've pictured your cube, in your scene I want you to add a ladder. Take note of the material that the ladder is made of, the condition that it's in, the location of it in accordance to the cube or anywhere else in the picture. <clears throat> Notice how many rungs it has, how big it is, if it's a double ladder standing up or if it's a single ladder straight up leaning on something. Alright, the next thing I want you to picture are flowers in your desert. Take note of how many flowers there are, what color they are, if they're old, if they're blooming, if they're dying, uh, anything you want to take note, just uh, try to remember everything about them. Alright, the next thing I want you to picture in your desert is a horse. What is your horse doing? Is it standing still? Is it running around? Does it have a saddle? What color is the horse? What is the horse's mm, personality like? Is it excited? Is it, is it dull? Is it boring? Um, is it kind of non-existent? Is it really far away from your cube or your ladder or is it really close? Okay, the last thing I want you to picture is a storm in your desert. What is the storm doing? What does it look like? Is there thunder? Is there lightning? Is it just a little cloud? Is it just a little bit of rain? Is it heavy rain? Is it a tornado? Is it taking over your entire desert? Is it a huge big black storm? Or is it just a little contained storm out in the corner of your desert? Or um, far off in the distance? Okay, now open your eyes. So here comes the fun part. I'm going to tell you what all of that means. Alright, so the cube represents you. And the bigger the cube, the bigger your ego and the way you see yourself in this world. If it's a small cube, you tend to have a smaller ego and you think of yourself a little bit less often or a little bit less in this world. If the cube is clear, it means that you're a pretty transparent person, that you are honest, not that you're not honest, people see right through you and you are just very transparent. If your cube is solid or opaque, then it means you're maybe just a little bit more hidden and there's a lot more going on that you don't quite share with everyone. Uh, different colors mean different things about your personality, but I'm not going to get into all the colors. I will leave some links down below for you guys if you want to like really dig into this thing. Alright, so the ladder represents your friends and your friends. Friendships. If the ladder is, let's say, really old and rusty, then you might feel that your friends are kind of just like, you know, those friendships are getting stale, they're not very solid. Um, if you have a nice solid wood ladder that's made out of like, you know, great wood and it's got some solid rungs on it, you know, that could represent solid friendships. And if the ladder is leaning on the cube, then it means that your friends uh, know that they can rely on you and they're dependent on you. If the ladder is far away from the cube, then it means you feel a distance from uh, some of your close friendships right now that maybe aren't so close. All right, and the next thing are the flowers. The flowers represent your offspring. So a lot of you, I feel like, are kids that are watching this are probably likely to not have your own children. So let's just say they represent your pets. <laughs> It doesn't really work, but I'm just gonna say it. So if you have a bunch of flowers, it sometimes can represent that you have a lot of people that look up to you and take advice from you. And if you just have like a couple little flowers, then it could mean you're just gonna have a couple kids. That was like my least favorite one because I'm like, eh, that represents your children and I don't really think that works. But it might, you never know. All right, the next one is always interesting to me. This 
horse represents your significant other or love interest. So if the horse is running around really far away and then coming back and then leaving or if it's just like running around, it kind of represents like a, perhaps an unstable relationship that has like a cycle of like going crazy and running around and like it's this and then it's that. And if your horse is standing right next to the cube and it's just chilling right there, then that means, you know, you feel close to somebody that it's kind of stable and, you know, chill and everything's like cool, whatever. Um, if your horse has a saddle on it, it means that you like to be the more controlling one in the relationship and you like to have uh, control over your um, significant other. And if there's no saddle, it means there may be a little bit more of a free spirit in the situation. All right, and last but not least, the storm represents problems and stress in your life. If the storm was taking over the desert, then or your entire picture, then it means that you've got some problems in your life that you're letting like take over and be kind of overwhelming. If the storm is contained and small and kind of light in the background or just off in the distance, it means you kind of manage your stress well and you know how to place it um, to where it doesn't consume everything in your life. So uh, that is my exercise, the cube. I hope you guys liked doing that. I know it's nothing like super scientific or anything, but I just enjoy doing it. People think it's kind of fun. I love hearing what different people's uh, cubes look like and the horses and everything and sometimes people have some really interesting scenes that happen so please leave a comment down below letting me know uh, what you pictured what your cube was like and what you thought of this exercise if you thought it was fun or if you just thought it was stupid <laughs> Yeah, I hope you don't think it was stupid. And share this with your friends. Send them this video. Have them take it. Have them do it. And then uh, have fun discussing it because I think it's really fun. All right, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've noticed that a lot of my videos aren't showing up in people's sub boxes. So if you want to like this video, it really helps me out if you like the video. And make sure you're subscribed in case YouTube decides to start working properly and sends this video to sub boxes. Yay! All right, I'll see you guys next Tuesday with a new video. Bye. Let's go.